In November, the New York Times released an article that highlighted tech companies saying that they're not doing nearly as much as they could be based on the technologies that are available to them. I totally agree with this claim. In fact, human trafficking is a $150 billion industry worldwide, and recent statistics estimates that there are 40.3 million victims and only 9,000 convictions. Oracle is making the first steps in the solution against human trafficking. Through our conversations with investigators and nonprofits involved in the fight against human trafficking, we've identified a number of problems, chiefly being decentralized data sources. Currently, there's a number of different databases that these organizations and investigators are pulling their information from. However, these databases are not succinctly in line with one another, meaning that database A may have different information than database B and database C. The second problem that these organizations face is the lack of real-time insight. If you're an investigator in the field and you want to track down a person that day and the information dates back to a few months ago, this isn't accurate and won't help you into the fight and location of these victims. There's a lack of a consolidated platform where investigators can ingest all this information, put it into one place, and actually interact and visualize with it. So again, that they can take insights, make actions to help stop or save victims. Oracle has a fully integrated solution to these problems. Taking the decentralized databases and forcing them into a single source of truth, which is the Oracle Autonomous Database. This provides not only one centralized place for the data, it also is entirely secure. We're getting real-time data through camera feeds and social media metadata, which we're then using Oracle Integration Cloud to seamlessly integrate into our ADW and then port that out to our front end. There's two types of users that are gonna interact with this platform. Those that are giving information, being the families of victims, for example, or the investigators who are trying to find them. If you were going to be a family, you would access our form page where you can fill out information about someone you're looking for. All information that investigators might not have so that you can further their investigation. For investigators, when they log in, they're greeted to a dashboard with a variety of information that's pulled from our three branches, be they geospatial analytics, text analytics, and image recognition. We then run compute scripts which pull out key bits of information, including metadata like location and timestamp, that we then port into our autonomous data warehouse. From there, we push that to the front end where investigators can visualize and interact with the data. These three branches come together to help really build out a profile of what the perpetrator has been doing recently, both from a chronological and a geospatial perspective, so the investigators can get a bird's eye view of the entirety of this case from beginning to end. By offering this consolidated platform, we're giving a tool for those fighting against human trafficking to help further their cause. There's endless possibilities to this, and we hope in the future to incorporate stuff like global access, dark web crawling, as well as predictive analytics to, again, take this fight further. The technology is out there, the data is out there, and now it's time to seize the moment and act. Oracle's solution offers a consolidated platform to identify and track entities and eventually make further predictions visualizations in the fight against human trafficking.